Uh, daya watu mataki na primary school a wannan jaha ta mu ta zamfara kamar yadda muke gani a kutun dazun major general sanusu muhammad asha kauran namoda akwai directoci da permanent secretary na hukum na hukuma bada ilimi bai daya taja zambara dukan su suna a wannan wuri akwai special advisors na madaraja gwamna tare da sura an yi nasara kuma wannan mataki ne mai tsari kuma mai albarka kamar yadda muke da fatar Allah ya ci mu nasara a wannan jiha ta mu assalamu alaikum His Excellency Dr. Daud Alawal the executive governor of Zamfara state has just arrived to this venue and he is being received by the chairman universal basic education board professor nasiru garba anka for today's function <laughs> This material is generously supplied by Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, Abuja, and UNICEF. By undertaking this significant initiative, Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, Abuja, and UNICEF are complementing the efforts of the present administration and achieving its predetermined goals of repositioning the primary and junior secondary school subsection of education in Zamfara State. The provision of teaching and learning materials to pupils in public and junior secondary schools will undoubtedly contribute to the successful implementation of the basic education project. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Basic education is a well thought out and timely project aimed at increasing the number of children, including adolescents, and particularly the most vulnerable who can access safe, inclusive learning and skills development opportunities in Northwest and Northeast Nigeria 2025. Zapple State inclusive. Your Excellency, sir, distinguished invited guests. Ladies and gentlemen, today's event is significant in many ways. Firstly, it aligns with the sincere and committed governance of His Excellency Dr. Dodano, who has prioritized education as a key focus area. We are proud to have a government that has earned public confidence and trust. This project is not only timely, but also strategically placed. At Zubeb, we recognize the value of collaboration and partnership with Zubeb and UNICEF. Hence, we approach programs of this nature with utmost seriousness and commitment. A clear testament to our commitment is evident in our recent engagement with Zubeb, Abuja, and UNICEF, where 150 ECCDE Teachers are set to undergo capacity building training workshops on Radio Emilia. Wilder teachers, strengthening teachers' English proficiency step. 500 primary one teachers on Jolly Polyx. 60 head teachers on effective school leadership. 50 SSOs on effective school development. And 178 teachers on strengthening mathematics and science education in Zampola State. This initiative aims to enhance the quality of learning and assess students' understanding in targeted subject areas. At this juncture, Your Excellency, I wish to reiterate the determination of the Prestige Universal Basic Education Board to implement effective strategies and relevant activities that enhance our teaching and learning environment. This effort is geared towards improving the quality of our teachers and pupils aligning with the broader goals of education. 
particularly in the basic education subsector. In conclusion, I would like to extend our sincere appreciation to all categories of stakeholders for making this reality possible. Once again, I welcome you to the formal flag of ceremony for the distribution of learning and of teaching and learning materials. A crucial distribution of teaching and learning materials, a crucial component of unique, a uni UNICEF basic education project in Zampala State. This ceremony will be officially performed shortly by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Zampala State, the Tedo Dalawal. Thank you. It is with great pleasure and a deep sense of gratitude that I stand here to address this August gathering uh, of stakeholders and policymakers as we embark on a monumental journey in our rescue mission toward transforming uh, the educational landscape of Zamfara State. It is indeed an honor to speak to you on this auspicious occasion, marking the flag off for the distribution of teaching and learning materials to our cherished public primary and junior secondary schools. This event holds particular significance as we witness the reward of a collaborative effort aimed at empowering teachers, students, uh, with teaching and learning materials they need to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of education. The teaching and learning materials we gather to distribute today have been generously provided by the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, and UNICEF, who are steadfast partners in our pursuit of educational excellence. These materials form an integral part of UBEC and UNICEF Basic Education Project, a visionary initiative designed to catalyze positive changes in our educational system. As we distribute these uh, resources across our 14 local government areas, let us recognize the profound impact that will, they will have on the lives of our students. The basic education project is not merely about providing textbooks and notebooks. It is about equipping our learners with skills and knowledge and the inclusivity required to thrive in the 21st century. In the spirit of collaboration and shared responsibility, UBEC and UNICEF have demonstrated unwavering commitment to the betterment of education in our state. We extend our heartfelt appreciation to UBEC and UNICEF for their continuous support and partnership. By the grace of Allah, through collaborative efforts, we shall go beyond providing materials, but will strive to shape an environment conducive to self, inclusive, uh, learning that nurtures the diverse talents and abilities of every child in the forest states. Today's event, therefore, represents the collective vision we share for the future of education in the state. This activity also aligns with our commitment to fostering an environment where every Zafra child, regardless of background or circumstance, can access quality education. I believe our aim is not just to distribute materials, but to ignite a passion for learning, to inspire curiosity, and to lay a solid foundation for a generation of innovative thinkers and responsible global citizens coming out of global and for states. As we move forward, I wish to call on all stakeholders, particularly teachers, heads of schools, and of course, the pupils under our care, to remain steadfast in our dedication to the principles of self inclusive learning and skills for all. Together, we can ensure that our education system becomes a beacon of opportunity, providing every child with a chance to unleash their full potentials. In conclusion, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of the Forest State, for all the support he renders to our ministry, departments, and agencies. Indeed, such support has remained the full force as we strive to achieve our educational agenda. It also manifests the commitment, determination, and sincerity of the executive that has been demonstrating his effort to change the narrative in the area of providing quality education as appreciated by his declaration of state of emergency in the education sector. Let me also thank all our stakeholders, educators, parents, and community members for their unwavering support. Together, 
let us continue this journey towards educational excellence as we work hand in hand with UBEC and UNICEF and other development partners to shape a brighter future for the children of the forest state. This just show is one of the main interventions that Zamfara State benefits from. As an educationally disadvantaged state in Nigeria, Zamfara will continue to require such support and engagement from both the national and international partners in order to move education forward in our dear state. This administration has prioritized education as centerpiece in our six smart agenda. Education is the bedrock of civilization. Our commitment to reforming and restructuring the education sector gave rise to the emergence of science and technology and as I said, this administration has prioritized education as centerpiece in our agenda, which means education is the bedrock of civilization. Our commitment to reforming and restructuring the education sector gave rise to the emergence of science and technology to the Ministry of Education, thereby expanding the mandate of the ministry. We are revolving education at all levels to give meaning to the lives of our young people. Our students today are writing both WAIEC and NACO examination like their counterpart across the country, leading to timely result, I mean release of their results. We have negotiated with the examination bodies and began to settle men of liabilities and heritage as a result of the failure of the past regime to meet up to this basic requirement. Today's event is a step in the right direction and at the right time. It is complementary to our efforts at providing Zamfara with qualitative and equitable education that will celebrate our people from the shock of ignorance and poverty. UNICEF noble objective of promoting literacy and educational opportunities for students and learners in the Nigeria is called the Learning Passport NLP Initiative, which aim at facilitating learning both within and outside the classroom. And this is highly commendable. Here today, the items to be distributed are for 250 beneficiary schools and comprising the following. Number one, 242,176 textbooks for different grades. Number two, 200 play materials for ECC DE. Number three, 25 ECCDA tablets, as well as chairs. Number four, we have 8,210 library materials resources. And finally, 35 UNICEF NLP focused schools for solar power equipment. Now, let me say something here. This solar equipment are unique. They are not same as the usual ones you see in the market. And I'm going to caution the principles here that under no circumstances shall these solar panels be stolen. I'm repeating, under no circumstances shall these panels be stolen. If that happens, Believe me, that is the end of your job. I'll dismiss you. And I'm very serious. So take it from me. Don't blame anybody if that happens. 
I will personally write that letter and dismiss you. Let's take this thing very, very serious. You should know what we're going through in the area of education, and we're doing everything humanly possible to revive this sector. If you look at all the indices in Nigeria, in the area of education, we are at the bottom end, and this will not continue. Government officials here. Guest, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency has read the Riot Act to any principal who allows the solar panel to be stolen. We Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We now move to the sole local government.